Hello and welcome to another video review. Today, it's these little guys here. The uh, Ultimite DX Voltron. Defender of the Universe! Little mini super deformed Voltron that transforms. Uh, there was a San Diego, San Diego Comic Con version of, the, of this guy that was released. It was like kind of like metallic colored. Uh, this is the regular release that just came out of the, uh, of the same toy. So yeah, so we're going to review this guy. And just before I do that, i got to talk about this. The new Friday, Friday the 13th Jason NES figure. Um, which is basically just a repaint of the one that came out before. Except I don't think he glows in the dark. doesn't look that way anyway by the paint. I'll have to check him. But it, it plays music when you open this up. And I thought that the music, it said plays Friday the 13th theme. So I thought it plays that kill, 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 But it doesn't. It actually plays the music from the game. From the Nintendo game. Listen to this. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I had no idea we'd play that. That is awesome. It was very cool. Alright, so. Enough about Jason. And let's review Voltron. Defender of the Universe. So we are going to start with the Voltron box. The actual other box, the San Diego Comic Con exclusive one, actually looked like the old box, which was neat. Um, I definitely would prefer that over this box, but this box actually still looks kind of cute. Not a very big box, as you saw just earlier here. Turn on our sides. Here you have Voltron. In the back here, we see the five lines with the five little mini drivers there, and we see the Voltron all combined and whatnot. Um, I bought this one because I would prefer to have a non-metallic paint on this guy, because I don't like the metallic paints that much on Blastic. So this is why I bought this particular version here. So yeah. So that's the box. Look, this is not a toy. It's for the adult collector. From Toy Nami. Alright, so we're going to open this guy up and see what he looks so like. here we have him once he's opened in the tray. This it comes with this sheet here, which explains, you know, somewhat the transformation. I mean, the transformation of the black line is probably the most difficult of the gang and it's not much. The rest of these guys, they just kind of like fold up and that's it. Shows you though where to put the drivers as you open the lines head up, put the drivers in there. The, uh, the drivers are actually super tiny. Look at these guys. Pretty tiny. So yeah. So I'm just going to take all these guys out, and then we're going to review them. Alright, so here we have the line family. So we have the accessories, the, you know, Voltron shield, like we saw earlier. And we have Voltron's blazing sword here. And then we have each little lion. Um, the lines are pretty much, well, the repaints, right? I mean, blue and yellow are repaints of each other, and then... Uh, green and red repaints of each other with a few little differences in the tooling so the little mini guys go on top of the heads here so if you take the blue line if I can get into it here see it opens up right there yeah so this is where the little driver the little princess Allura sit her in there she falls right in and you can close the head. You can hear it in there. So you can basically do that for all the lines. Uh, here we can open up Hunk's head. Uh, I'm sorry, the yellow line's head. I mean, they put Hunk in there. Close them up. Green lion and the red line, the same thing. They open up at the top here. Alright, well, it's opening now. There. <laughs> Very tight. I must say. Alright, so we're going to take Keith, drop him in that little hole here. He's in there and we can close it back up. There we go. Alright, so that means these are cute and all, but there's not much to them, right? I mean, there you have the green line. Kind of weird here, the, the ball joint that'll connect the form Voltron 
uh, you can actually, if you pull it down like that, it kind of looks like the green line has this really oversized testicle. Um, red line, same thing. Uh, so between them, between the two boys, they have one pair of testicles. Nice. All right. So what we do now is we're going to transform these guys. So if we take the red line, very simple. I mean, these guys transform pretty much the same way they do in like every iteration of them as they were lines. They alter always transform the same way. So there you go. That right there is the red line transformed into the arm. I have a feeling I'm going to be losing those little drivers at some point. So same thing with the green line here. You just push in the legs. Like so. There we go. The little lines here. Look at how cute the little tails are. Look at the little tails. They're so cute. Alright, so same thing here. You push in the legs. Like so. Just bring them up a bit. Push these in the same way. Bring them up. You can bring them up, bring them down. I mean, whatever you want to do. It doesn't really matter. Whatever way you want to transform them. And the actual tail, I think we're going to be able to push it in like that. Speaking of cats, did you hear my cat right now? It knows I'm playing with Voltron. It's a big fan. So push up the feet. And then you got this articulation here in the head. It goes from side to side. So there's a the foot. So blue line, exact same thing. Try to do this quickly. I'm gonna bore you guys with this stuff. Okay, bring in the head, Pop over the tail. Alright, so we've got the limbs. Now, the black lion here. Black lion is probably the most articulate of the gang. Even his, his legs, you can see here, they go like, they swivel this way. Uh, something you notice though, in order to transform this guy, just flip over the tail here. So if I'm doing this, I bring this over, here, I pull, flip over the paw, shove it into the little hole there. Same thing here flip this over and then put it in like like so these will not flip over like the red on this side should be right here next to this thing but they won't because the belt here the belt piece stops it from turning as you can see it blocks it so what you have to actually do is twist the whole waist on a side like this once it's twisted, then you can fully move the sides. But you actually have to do it two ways, because if you do it like this, you're fine. But here again, moving it down, the belt, which is on the side here, gets in the way. So you gotta twist it again, all the way on the other side again, to get the tail flush with the arm, and then I can flip it over. Oops, sorry. Like so, there. Then I can pull, bring the body back, twist it to the front, uh, so, and then we can start putting this guy together, so we can place the yellow line here, put it in the foot. So the actual paws, whoa, which come off really easily. Uh, have to remain out, I think, in order to slide right in. We'll check it anyway, see how it works. So you slide it right in. There you go. So it pushes right into the end. As you can see, the end here, it's, it's flush. So same thing with the blue line. Push them all the way in. And he's not being as cooperative. Again, 
see the actually the black lines Paul just like the bottom part here you can see it pops right out put it back on here there we go yeah so now you know why they say this is an adult collector not a toy adult collectible I mean and not a toy all right there go oh, this guy's hard to put in He is not being cooperative at all. There. All right. You know, I'd like to do this like this live for the first time. I always did in my reviews. Is that way? If there's any problems or something like that, you get to see it live. You see what I see as I'm seeing it. Let's try to zoom out a bit here. So the red lion to the right. A hole here which he put his testicle in. <laughs> it's not fitting very well. Oh, geez, that is a tight fit. All right, you do not want to be transforming this guy back and forth, man. Trust me, so you're gonna break it. All right, so let's put the yellow, the green line, sorry, into him here. Wow, it feels like it's gonna snap right off. All right, so I got them in. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get them out, but they're in. You can actually turn the hands too if you want to anyway, if you want to. So there's articulation in the here, like this, so you can kind of bring up his hands a bit like that. Turn this around a bit, anyways. All right, so the back, the wings, come out to the sides, just like the original Voltron. Tail goes up, turn them around, turn his head, open up his ears, and there you have him. Oh, there you had him. Very cute. They can put the. Uh... All right, so the mini Voltron, he looks really cute. Like, the little Altamites DX Voltron. He looks cute. Definitely very neat. Nice collectible, like, don't get me wrong. Is he worth the price point? No, absolutely not. Uh, this guy runs for a little over 100 bucks. And uh, definitely not worth a hundred dollars, not even close. Um, even though it's neat, I mean, you can pretty much. I mean, I think it's like a hundred. I don't remember, like 100, 130, 130, 140, something like that. You can get the actual die cast set, the the reissue um, of the bigger Voldra on there, like the masterpiece one for I don't know about two hundred. Or 175 or something like that, I can't really remember. Depends if you get them on sale or not. So, uh, these two are far apart in, you know, in price in my opinion. Yet, if you buy them, they're pretty close. And I don't think that's right, because the other one has die-cast metal. It's a lot bigger. Um, this is just kind of just like a, more like a little, like, little cute little piece to put in your collection. But it's definitely not worth the money. Um, that being said... He's very cute. <laughs> like, he's got a lot of mobility for, you know, for the little guy. If you look at him here, I mean, the legs move. Like, they actually, you know, go all the way back here. Line mouths. They twist, they open, which is neat. You can definitely put them in a lot of different poses. And as you can see on the box, 
like I showed earlier. There's a lot of different poses that they do with this guy, so that's cool. Um, I like the fact that the paint isn't all metallic. The only metallic parts on this guy, unlike the other one, the San Diego Comic Con, which it was everything, uh, this guy, they kind of left it just with the, uh, the chest emblem here is metallic and the face is metallic. But the rest of it is not metallic, which is great. Uh, I guess you can kind of say this is a bit shiny, but whatever, something metallic. So there you go, look at that. I already lost Pidge. It already came out here of the headpiece. So yeah, <laughs> like I said, um, this guy definitely... <laughs> I'm going to lose these drivers eventually. So, in ending my review... Oh, screw it, stay there. Would I buy this guy? Yes, I would buy it, because I did. Uh, am I impressed with him? He looks cute. Is he worth the money? Probably not. Um, but if you're a Voltron collector like I am, and you try to get everything that is Voltron from a transformable perspective, then you kind of got to have him. Alright, well, until next time, guys. Take care. Later.